international adventurer Mason James wrestles with the gears of a helicopter. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks like I got an urgent delivery for that FedEx store. Ooh, that was close. Hello there, Mason James, sir. Got a package for you from your sister, Kayla. Whoa, cool. It's an ancient stone tablet. Come in, Mason James. You there, bro? I'm here, sis. This stone tablet you sent me is really cool. Is that a map? You guessed it, Mason James. You need to use that map to find three hidden golden medallions as fast as you can. The whole world could be in danger. I'm on a remote island with a mega volcano that could blow at any moment. The only way to stop it is to find those medallions and bring them to me. I'm on my way, sis. No problem. Actually, one problem. The helicopter's out of fuel. This mission just got a lot harder. The world needs you. Uh, you've got to find a way to deliver those medallions. Delivery, huh? I need something for delivering a delivery. Hmm. No. Wait a minute. Yes! Mason James uses the coordinates on the map as he races towards the first medallion. Let's hope this truck can deliver speed. Whoa, this river is huge. It'll take me forever to drive around it. Aha, if I can get to the ferry port before the ferry leaves, that could take me across the river. Mason James, the volcanologists are saying this mega volcano could devastate the entire planet. Do you have the first medallion? I'm having trouble finding the exact coordinates. Uh-oh. Something is under the boat and it's gonna tip us over. It's a giant anaconda that looks just like the snake symbol on the stone tablet. Follow that snake. Watch out. Why would that snake lead us here? Wait, there's something up there. I think a little bump from this fairy will do it. Got it! I've got the first medallion, sis, and I'm headed to the next coordinates on the map. Great job, Mason James. Keep it up. According to the map, this should take me right to... Whoa! Whew, that was close. Hey, those giant stones have symbols on them. A square, a triangle, a circle, and a diamond. The next medallion is supposed to have a diamond on it. I got it! It's a giant puzzle! But those stones are way too big to move. Or are they? Mason James expertly maneuvers the bulldozer to turn the giant stones. One more turn should do it. Uh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. It's the next medallion. Woohoo! I got the second medallion. Just one more to go. And it looks like the third medallion is in Australia. I'm headed down. There's no time, Mason James. You'll never make it to Australia and get here in time to stop this volcano. Then I'll head your way with two. And I've got a wild idea for how to get the third medallion. It isn't my old rival, Mason James. Ha 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 ha! Emerson Felix, the infamous rival of world famous adventurer Mason James, enjoys a joy ride in her Land Rover on the Gold Coast in Australia. Why can't I find any gold? Well, well, well. If it isn't my old rival, Mason James. Mason 
Jesse James drives down a highway in France. No time to chit-chat, Emerson. I know you're in Australia, and I need your help. Sorry, Mason James. I'm too busy. Say, do you happen to know where the gold is on the Gold Coast? Emerson, the Gold Coast refers to the beautiful golds and beaches. Oh. Listen, there's a secret medallion with a kangaroo on it hidden in Australia. If you don't help me find it, a megavolcano is going to erupt so that could spread ash and lava all over the Earth. I do like medallions. And saving the world sounds pretty important too, I suppose. I'll help. Send me the coordinates to that medallion. This just might work. I better check in with Kayla. Kayla, how is the megavolcano doing? We've gotten all the people off the island, but this thing could blow at any moment. I don't think you have time to get the third medallion. Don't worry. Emerson Felix is in Australia right now looking for it. Emerson Felix? She can't be trusted. She might pull one of her tricks. This mission is too important. She'll come through. We've got to trust her. Ugh. My son James, there's nothing out here. Emerson Felix tears through the outback searching for the kangaroo medallion. It's a wild goose chase. Hey, there's a wild goose. Oh, no, that's a menu. Yikes! This better be one special medallion. Mason James races to the ferry boat. Emerson, have you found the medallion? I'm at the coordinates, Mason James. But there are no kangaroos or medallions in sight. Just rocks, rocks, and more rocks. Trust me, it's there. There must be some sort of puzzle to finding it. Try a new perspective. Look at things differently. Aha! This is crazy, Mason James. How is moving my Land Rover around on this ridge going to help me find a... Oh, what? Hey! A kangaroo! It's a kangaroo! I found the kangaroo! I did it! I'm the best treasure hunter ever! Emerson! Emerson! Emerson, do you see the medallion? Ow! Something is glaring in my eyes. Ooh. Yes, there's a shiny gold medallion in the eye of the kangaroo. Awesome! Now, please get that medallion to the mega volcano as fast as possible. On it! <laughs> Hurry, Mason James! Time is almost out! Glory! Ba, ba, hmm. Whoa! I'm here, Kayla. What took you so long, Mason James? Emerson, you made it. Let's go. Follow me. There's not a second to lose. We have to place the snake medallion, the diamond medallion, and the kangaroo medallion in the stone slab now. We don't need to use all three medallions. Perhaps I can just keep this one. It's okay, Kayla. Uh, I mean, Emerson Felix. <sighs> it's tough saying goodbye to your treasures, but if it helps the world, you can do it. We, we did, did it! Um, Mason James, why is the ground getting hotter? We may have saved the world, but the caves below the mega volcano are filling up with lava. Let's get off this island, floor it. As he races to escape the island, Mason James gets an urgent message from Venice. The mission isn't quite over yet. This truck has a package in it that has to be delivered to this car wash. After saving the world, I think we all earned a super clean car wash. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Mason, Kayla, come on, kids. The moving truck's here. Say, do you think we'll ever see those golden medallions again? You never know, Emerson. Just like us, they're off on their next great adventure. Famous adventurer Mason and James and his sisters speed through the city in a desperate race with extreme stakes. First car to the stadium gets an extra slice of pizza, Mason James. 
You mean an extra slice of the world's largest pizza? It's the City of Matchbox's 70th anniversary. And it's celebrating by breaking the record for the world's largest pizza. There's the stadium! Yes! I win! Uh, Mason? Where's the super big pizza? I don't know, but the whole city will be showing up soon expecting a lot of pizza. We better find out what's going on. Whoa. I love the smell of pizza. And that is one huge pizza pie. Mason James, thank goodness you're here. I made the world's largest pizza, but I forgot that I would also need the world's largest pizza delivery vehicle. Don't worry. We can do anything if we all work together. If the pizza is not in the stadium in the next 30 minutes, we won't get the world record. And that crowd is getting hungry. I can hear them from here. I got it. With a pizza this big, we need to think big. Follow me, sis. Of course. These big machines can move anything. Yep, and we can use our even bigger Matchbox Excavator to get all those big machines to that pizza pie in no time. Let's load it up. Here comes the bulldozer. Loading the bulldozer. Here comes the turf hauler. Loading the turf hauler. Here comes the road grader. Wow, that's a lot of construction vehicles, Mason James. You can never have too many. Let's roll. The world's biggest pizza, meet the world's biggest excavator. Mason, stop! The pizza is sliding! Whoa! We have to keep the pizza perfectly level while we move. Sounds like we need some teamwork. Sure is a good thing that we brought all these heavy-duty construction vehicles. Make way for the bulldozer! Did someone order a large turf hauler? You can't have a pizza party without a sturdy road grader. But there will be no party if we can't get this pizza to the stadium fast. All right, team. We have to work together and fast. There is no room for error. When I say, drive to your places as quickly and precisely as possible. Hold it steady, Mason James. Easy. Wait for it. Almost. Go, go, go! Yes! It worked! All right, team, start your engines. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> All right, Kayla, that was the easy part. Now you have to lead them through the city as fast as possible. I'm gonna make sure we can get this thing into the stadium. How can I help? You gotta convince the mayor and everyone at the stadium to hang tight and the world's largest pizza is on its way. Oh, boy. Okay, team, let's go. Get ready, team. Left turn now. And right turn now. Whoa. The other right. Oh, no. The pizza. <gasps> Got it. <gasps> Overpass. Break. Now go, 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 go. Almost there. Yes. Floor it. But there's no way to get the pizza into the stadium. Looks like we won't get that world record after all. Oh, yes, we will. This giant crane always delivers. Okay, who ordered the extra, extra, extra large pizza? Oh, that's a big pizza. That pepperoni's bigger than me. We did it. Hey, Mason, join the party. Express exit. Look out below. Great job, Mason James. Thanks to our teamwork, the city of Matchbox now holds the record for the world's largest pizza. Yes! <laughs> Too bad we didn't think about needing the world's largest drink. <laughs> <laughs> On the top of a mountain, just outside the city of Matchbox, Mason James digs for dino bones for the new natural history wing of the Science Museum. Mason James! Slow down and be careful! 
Paleontology requires patience and precision. Sorry, sis, I'm just so excited. The ground penetrating radar shows something huge just a few meters down. It might be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Wouldn't that make the perfect first exhibit for the brand new wing of the museum? Hmm. Hmm. Whoa! There it is! And it is a T-Rex! With this excavator, I'm gonna get that T-Rex skull in no time. Take your time, Mason, and do it right. Otherwise, something could go very wrong. Uh-oh. I think you might be right about needing to slow down. Okay, Mason James. Very slowly, use the bucket to stop the skull from falling off the mountain. Got it, sis. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Staying too fast sure kicked up a lot of dust. Uh, 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 shoo! Uh-oh. Something quick! You just told me to slow down. Sometimes it is best to do things slow and careful, but right now we need to do something powerful to stop that dino fast. Say no more, sis. I've got the perfect machine for the job. The skull is headed right toward the city. The new Natural History Museum will be history if we don't stop. You know that the T-Rex actually walks slower than humans? This is not the time for fun facts, bro. Whoa, that skull is fast. Whoa. Whoa. Get back here. Whoa. Oh no, this bulldozer can't catch that thing. But it can build something to stop it. If we quickly build a wall, we can stop that skull from crushing the museum. There are not enough rocks to make the wall tall enough. Hi there. Looks like you could use some help building that wall. Thanks. We need all the rocks, rubble, and dirt we can get. Don't have any dirt, but we do have this. But that's a porta potty Just got it in today. I think my crew can hold it for a while if it will help stop that T-Rex. Huh, I guess a porta potty could also be a porta dino wall. Let's load it up. Stand clear. Flying bathroom coming in. Glad that thing is empty. Thanks, but now our wall looks a little more like a ramp. That dino's gonna fly up the ramp and crush the museum. Mason James powers up the side of the mountain with the craziest idea he's ever had. Um, this is bad, bro. Hurry up, Mason James! that there are times to act quickly and also times to slow down and be careful. I sure did. I'm gonna be very careful when we get back to the dig site. Good. Race you there. <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> Famous adventurer Mason James uses his skid steer to lift a heavy boulder. And his sister Kayla uses her backhoe to lift a boulder that's just as big. Nice job, sis. But let's see which vehicle can get the job done. Well, 
It's another time, Ace and James. Woohoo! Whoa, did you make that sound? No, that's a train horn, which means the train with our new road roller is near. Let's get to the train station. Ooh, that road roller will be perfect to help us repave these streets in the city. We sure need it. We're going to be late. I better call the train engineer. Chugga, 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 chugga. Choo choo. This is Mason James calling the Matchbox Express. Do you read me? Hello? Hello? Uh oh, the comms are out. I hope that train waits for us at the station. Let's go. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Mason James, watch out! It's a rock slide! Uh oh. That rock slide took out a part of the train track. And with the comms down, there is no way to warn the engineer before the train crashes into it. Do we try to fix the track super fast? Or do we try and warn the train engineer? If you and I communicate, I bet we can do both. Yes! On it! I'll race down the track and warn the engineer. And I'll start clearing the rocks. And this excavator will have to be re-cleared in no time. Maybe something at the construction site can help? Hmm. If this works for slowing down traffic, maybe it can help me slow down that train. <sighs> Kayla, the new rails are not even on. If the train hits these rails, it will fly off the tracks. What are all those cones for? Construction ahead. Is that a stop sign? I think I better slow down. The train is slowing down, Mason James, but it won't have time to stop before it hits the broken track. That's not the only problem. I just realized the only vehicle that can fix this track is on the train. The road roller. OK, I can figure out a way to get on the train if you can figure out a way to get me and that road roller off the train. I'm on it, sis. But we're going to need perfect timing to pull this off. Timing is everything! Yes! Made it! I'm on the train! Where are you, Mason James? I'm in the train! Get that road roller revving! Your lift is flying in! All right, Kayla, it's now or never! Go! Here I come! I got you! Time for this road roller to do what it does best. Slush. You did it! Now get off those tracks! This is gonna be close! Chugga 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 chugga. Whoosh! Whew. This road roller is not built for speed. But it sure does get the job done. Woohoo! Is the train in trouble again? Nah, I think that's just train speak for thank you. Thank you! You're welcome, train. <laughs> <laughs> After a hard day of construction, world-famous adventurer Mason James loves going mudding with his powerful pickup truck. Splat! Mason James? Sorry, sis. Didn't see you there. You can't act like a wild animal in the middle of the city. Look at all this mud! Oops, you're right. 
How about I treat everyone to a super clean car wash? Yeah, that would be cool. Hey, nice. Everybody out. Wait for it. Green, go, go, go. I'm starting with a car wash, then the mini mart, then vacuuming, and then the waxing station. Let's take it one step at a time. Super clean car wash, here we come. Hey, Mason James, you want anything from the mini mart? Gator! Uh, I don't think the mini mart sells. Snap, 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 snap. Whoa. What is an alligator doing at the super clean car wash? Uh, playing hide and seek? Whatever the reason, she's lost and scared. We need to help that gator get back to the wild. With these construction vehicles, we have the perfect tools for the job. Okay, here's the plan. We use the bulldozer to block the exit. Vroom. And put the attenuator at the entrance with its back gate lowered. Vroom. Then I'll lure her out. With what? The sandwiches in the mini mark looked pretty good. Let's go. Vroom. Beep, beep, beep. I sure hope she likes bologna and cheese. She comes! Snap, 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 snap. Quick! Close the gate! Yes! Let's get this gal back to the swamps. We have to get this gear far enough away that she doesn't wander back to the city. She is not a happy camper, Mason G. This should be far enough. Back up to the swamp, and I'll open the tailgate. Uh-oh! Mason James, the road isn't wide enough, and this gator is too heavy. The front tires are stuck, and this attenuator truck is sinking. Try backing out! No luck! I can drive forward, but then I'll drive right into the swamp. This is bad, bro. Maybe not. I've got an idea. Stay here. Where else am I gonna go? Please start off the ferry. We've got an emergency and we need your help. Mason James, we're sinking fast. I hope your plan involves getting here soon. Need a lift, sis? Punch it. You got this. You can do it. Use the low gears. Yes! Way to think quick, bro. Now let's get this gator gal back to nature. Now this is a gator's happy place. Lower the ferry gate. Everyone stand clear. All right, Kayla, lower the attenuator gate. <laughs> snap! Snap! Awesome job, sis. But now that truck really needs washing. Let's get back to the super clean car wash. Are we sure there aren't more gators? Yeah. Why don't you go first? All right, stand back, everyone. This mud has got to go. Now that's refreshing and alligator free. Who's next? Oh, me. Let me just grab these snacks and. Oh, and please make sure to buff out the bite marks. <laughs> Mason James leads his construction crew through the city after getting an urgent call from his sister. Mason James, I just received an emergency warning. There's a giant windstorm headed our way! I need all the help I can get moving this apple. Do you say apple? It's a really big apple. Hurry! Whoa! That is one 
Big Apple. It's a sculpture for the Science Museum honoring Sir Isaac Newton. Whoa! We need to get this sculpture secured on its base before the windstorm hits. With the little teamwork, we'll have it up in no time. So, who was this Sir Isaac Newton guy? He discovered gravity, the natural force that makes things heavy. Well, this sure is heavy. Whoosh! Whoosh! Straighten up that skid steer and give us a little more power from the bulldozer. Whoa! There's the pedestal. Everybody switch to low gear. We're gonna need all the power we can get. Once we get it up there, we need something to hold it in place while we pour the cement. Already got that covered. Let's go. the apple, but there isn't time. But there is a super powerful mega crane. If we can time it right, we can turn the rolling apple into a flying apple. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. I'm in. It's gonna take perfect time. Oh no, the wind is picking up and making the sculpture roll even faster. No time to waste. Can somebody help me out with the faster entrance? How about if this wall becomes a ramp? Whoosh. <laughs> Amazing! Heading up to the mega crane. Where's that apple? It's just to the left onto Main Street and Fifth Avenue. I'm in the mega crane. Let me know exactly when the apple gets to the construction center. Third Avenue. Second Avenue. Starting to figure out this gravity thing. Clear the streets, everyone! Object in motion coming at you! Got it! Now it's an object at rest. Let's get that cement mixer in here and make sure it stays an object at rest. I'm on it, sis, as easy as apple pie. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'd say that adventure was very fruitful. It was awesome to the core. <laughs> Mason, look! The apple sculpture is defying gravity! What can I say? All the action made me hungry for this yummy sculpture. <laughs> <laughs> World-famous adventurer Mason James zigzags through the city of Matchbox. There it is! Oh, I lost it. Wait, is that it? Mason James, I find it very hard to believe that you saw a giant bald eagle in the middle of the city. I did! I just need to get up higher to find it. Well, I can help with that. I'm on my way to you. 
Oh, there you are. Need a lift, bro? Mm. There it is. Wow, that is so cool. I wonder where she's going. Only one way to find out. Follow that eagle. Look, it's a nest. Can you get me up any higher, sis? I don't want to touch the nest, but I'd love to get a picture. Uh, that's as high as I can get you, bro. Uh-oh, Kayla. There's a crack in one of the branches supporting that nest. Watch out! Uh-oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Close one. Quick thinking, sis. Thanks. Oh, no! Mason James, look at the nest! Whoa! If we don't do something right away, those eagle eggs are gonna fall. We need to replace the branch that fell off. Mason James, do you know how long it takes to grow a tree branch? We're not gonna grow a tree branch. We're gonna build one. Do you really think we can build a branch sturdy enough to hold that nest? Yep, and we're gonna need everybody's help. We can weld these I-beams together to make the branch. Yeah, and we can hold it in place with some quick dry cement. This will help us drill a hole in the wall to anchor the branch. And you know what we need to push that homemade tree branch into that anchor hole? A backhoe tractor! The I-beams are all welded and holding strong. And I've got the cement mixed and ready to pour. Uh, sis, we've still got one problem. How do we get all this stuff way up there? Unlike that sort, Eagle, our construction vehicles can't fly. Sure we can. We may not have wings, but we do have a giant crane. Who's first? Yeehaw! <laughs> Let's roll. Uh... We'd better hurry! Drill digger coming down! And the cement is coming up! This cement is quick dry. Once we pour it in, we need to get that steel branch in as fast as possible. Okay, you two are up next. Uh-oh. Problem. We need both vehicles to do the job. If you're up for a crazy idea, I've got one. Do you think the crane can lift all that? Only one way to find out. Everybody on. They don't call that quick dry cement for nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You got it. Okay, we have to be quick and precise. I just hope this beam is strong enough. Bald Eagle Nest can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Yikes! Come on! Boom. Yes! We did it! Crack! Oh, no. Is our branch breaking? That's no branch. That's an egg cracking. A baby eagle is coming out of its shell. Aww. The eaglets are hatching. That's Mama Eagle heading back, and I don't think she needs any more help from us. We did it! Welcome to the world, baby eagle. Woohoo! Hop in, bro. I'll help you get a really great pick of those eaglets. I think I'll keep all four wheels on the ground for a while. You never know, Mason James. Tomorrow always brings another great adventure. <laughs>